Words appear. Whose blind life is it anyway? Present. In association with Sterling Creation. Dining with Donna. Sponsored by VIP Tech. Greetings, everybody, and I am Donna J. John Han, your host of the Dining with Donna show. It's December, folks. Yes, indeed, December it is. And you know what? I cannot believe that December is simply speeding along like every other month. And soon it will be time to bring in a fresh new year, 2023. I hope that 2022 has been good to all of my listeners and especially to my dear friend Victor. Thank you, Victor, for again allowing me and enabling me to come in and record this show with you and to be with you on yet another December day. Folks, I am no chef by any means. I am no culinary artist. But what I am is someone who loves to play around in her kitchen, who loves to create with her friends and family and even on her own. And while I'm at it, I would bang my pots and pans in a sort of a unmelodious melody. I can't do that for you right now with the banging my pots and pans. I sometimes sing a little song to myself or Hum a little song to myself, I won't do that for you. But right now, as I'm standing here in my kitchen, I'm thinking of the song by Michael Jackson, the late Michael Jackson. Someday at Christmas, when men will be boys, playing with drums as play kids play with toys, or playing with guns as kids play with toys. Some happy moment our hearts will feel a world where men are free. That's one of my favorite songs. What's yours? That's a non-traditional song, but you know what? I have always loved that song by Michael Jackson, plus the other one called Give Love on Christmas Day. Yeah, it's all about greeting each other, people you don't know, you greet them. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everything you could think of. So, you know, before I get going here, I'm going to wish everybody happy holidays, holiday greetings, Merry Christmas, Buen Natale, Feliz Navidad, Joyo Noel, and Happy Hanukkah. I wish I knew how to bring greetings to you in other languages, but these are the ones I know, so please forgive me. Right then, so... I thank all of my listeners who have taken the time to come in and leave feedback for me at askdonnaonblindlife at gmail.com. That's that's askdonnaonblindlife at gmail.com. Thank you very, very much. And please continue to send your suggestions, your feedback, everything. Okay? Right, are we ready for some action in the kitchen this week? I hope you are. And the recipe that I have chosen for you this week is English bread pudding. And here are the implements or tools that you're going to need. And like I keep saying, you always do best when you organize all of the things you need before you start into your recipe. All the implements or tools that you would need and all of the ingredients that you would also need. Okay? Good enough. Let's get going. English bread pudding. And here are the implements that you will need. Okay? You need measuring cups. You always almost always need measuring cups in your kitchen. So measuring cups, mixing bowls, a paring knife, 
one egg beater, measuring spoons, mixing spoons. There's a difference between your measuring spoons and your mixing spoons. Your measuring spoons are used to measure how much of anything you put into your recipe. And your mixing spoons are what you use to mix things around. Okay? All right. A crock pot. Kitchen scissors. A chef's knife. Paper towels. And this is one of the most staple things I think anybody needs in their kitchen. Paper towels. Because you're always looking for something to clean up unexpected or unwanted spills and messes or to wipe things down okay so don't forget your paper towels please don't very very vital in any kitchen right so you have the things that you need all neatly organized on your counter and now the ingredients You need 16 slices of firm day old of white bread, okay? And this is the equivalent of one small loaf, okay? Before I go any further, I just want to remind you that if, you know, you want texture versions of this or in alternate formats and on electronic formats, you can get these off the show notes that Victor provides or write to me at askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com and I'll be happy to send you whatever recipe you desire. Just put in the subject line which recipe you want and I'll be happy to send to you. Okay, so let's continue on after the day old bread. Okay. All right one three quarters cup of milk three quarters cup of milk okay one eight ounce package of dried fruit that's one eight ounce package of dried fruit okay you cut them up into small pieces using your paring knife or your kitchen scissors okay one half cup of chopped nuts. I like walnuts. I think that's always the favorite that most uh, recipes call for when you talk about chopped nuts. But you can have other types of nuts in there. I like the, the walnuts, okay? One medium apple and you have to chop it up, okay? One medium apple chopped. Now, you have all this, okay? Um, bear with me here. Okay, these are your ingredients, okay? So, Hold on, I'm just a little bit behind here. This is a long recipe. This is why I'm a little bit lost. Okay. You need, after your apple, okay, we need one third cup of packed brown sugar and I apologize for the little stumbling here but um, I was just a little bit lost in my ingredients. So after the apple you have your sugar, one third cup of packed brown sugar, one half stick of melted butter, okay, one egg lightly beaten, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I love the smell of both cinnamon and nutmeg. 
It reminds me so much of the holiday season of Christmas time in Granny's kitchen. One quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. So you have a lot of spices in this recipe. You have nutmeg, you have cinnamon, you have ground cloves, okay? You tear your bread into, sorry, tear your bread into one to two inch crusts, okay? Into one, into, sorry, let's start again. Tear your bread and you use your crusts as well into one or two inch pieces, okay? And then place them in your crock pot. You pour your milk over your bread and let this soak for 30 minutes. Then you stir in your dried fruit, your nuts, your apple. You stir that in, okay? Make sure you stir it in very well with your mixing spoon. Then the remaining ingredients, you combine all of your remaining ingredients, that's your spices, your butter and everything else, into a pour into a small bowl. Okay, so let's just step back for a little bit. After you've poured your milk over your bread, okay? And and you stir in your dried fruit, your nuts, and your apple. You stir that in and let that stand for 30 minutes, okay? And you combine your remaining ingredients in a small bowl and pour over the entire mixture. Stir well to blend. Stir really well with your mixing spoon. Cook. You cover your crock pot and you cook on low for three and a half to four hours or until you insert a toothpick into the center and it comes out clean. That is one way to know that your recipe has been cooked. Take a toothpick or take a skewer, all right, and stick it into the center of the crock pot or even if you're cooking something else like or bake you know cooking a cake or something take a skewer or toothpick insert it into the center and if it comes out clean it means it has been cooked very well okay now if you want to make chopping of dried fruits easier You cut your fruit with either a pair of kitchen scissors or a chef's knife. And you spray that before you you cut with non-spray with non-stick cooking spray. Okay? And you do this just you, you spray this to prevent sticking. This makes six to eight servings. So again. If you want to make the task of cutting or chopping up your dried fruit, use a pair of kitchen scissors or a chef's knife, but spray it before with non-stick cooking spray. And this will prevent sticking. I hope you like this recipe because I've tried it and I like it. I've tried it on my friends and my family and they didn't die, thank God. They weren't sick. They all enjoyed it and they all went home and tried it. So I hope you do try it, okay? Don't be afraid. Don't be bashful. Try it. <clears throat> and let me know what you think. Let me know how it comes out, okay? All right. Let's see what I have for you for this week as a little extra tip. It's all about if you have no eggs, if you run out of eggs, if you have no eggs, if you have no eggs, increase the liquid content of your recipe by three to four tablespoons, okay? 
um, for each egg. So if you need two eggs, right, as an example, you will need three tablespoons per egg. So that will mean if you need two eggs, as an example, you put in six tablespoons of extra liquid, but you've got to be very, very careful to maintain a balance so you don't have a very soggy or sappy recipe, okay? Especially when you're using a lot of eggs. So for example, if you have a recipe that calls for six eggs, be super careful. Maybe you can cut it back to two tablespoons per egg, two tablespoons of liquid into your recipe, okay? I have other tips on how to uh, deal with, uh, you know, if you run out of stuff, if you need to have substitutions, but write to me at askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com and I'll be happy to share these with you. Ask Donna on blindlife at gmail.com folks i believe that this is the christmas week i'm not sure when this show you're going to be able to listen to it but i'm sure you're enjoying your your time you're sharing you're giving you're greeting you're shopping you're doing everything that we all do at around this time of the year i hope you have fun for today and for the rest of the week thank you victor for all that you've done for me and um, we will catch you again next week it'll be our fourth show for december and probably you'll be getting ready for the new year celebration aha uh -huh. getting ready to bring in the new year so happy holidays everybody buena tarde Noel, feliz navidad happy hanukkah and did i miss anybody out merry christmas everybody do take care, stay safe, and stay well. Bye for now, and see you next week. You can catch Dining with Donna Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific on Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway? <laughs>